Uh, Nine, what's being done to n right now? It's being divided by 4, right? So guess what we're going to do to both sides? Well, it's being divided by 4, so how do you undo division u? Opposite of division is multiplication, right? So you multiply both sides by 4. Very good. So when I do, did you all get x equals to negative 8? Yeah. Nobody put down 8, right? Because that'll be wrong. It's negative times positive, so you get negative 8. What about number 2? Who could help me how to do this one? You got negative 3, x equals to negative 9. Sydney, we called you. Who, uh, Brujan, what do I do? Yeah, because negative 3 is multiplying x. How do you undo multiplication? You divide by the same number, which you go positive 3. Did you, how many people put, put down positive 3? Very good. Who haven't I called today? How about, I have, I called you, how about, um, Owen, tell me what to do on number 12. I mean, number 3. What's being done to x right now? No, it's mu oh, being multiplied by, by the whole fraction, negative 4 fifths. So guess what you're going to do? Divide it by negative 4 fifths. Is that right, guys? And of course, when you divide it like this, the same number they cancel out to be 1 because negative 4 fifths goes into negative 4 fifths once, right? So what do you end up getting on the right side? You just get x. This means 12 what? Divided by? Negative 4 fifths. And of course, that becomes 12 times? Negative 5 over 4. Equals to x. And really, 12 is 12 over 1. Uh, do you think we could cross cancel here, guys? Why? Because we are? Multiplying. multiplying. Cross cancel. Remember, cross means multiply, of course. 4 goes into 12 how many times? Three. What's the answer, class? How many people got negative 15 as your answer? Raise your hand. Very good. Now, do you see if you didn't, do you see why you didn't? Okay. Let's look at number four then. Okay, so what should we do on this one? Who haven't I called today? How about Natalia? Natalia, what do you do? Negative six. What's being done to x right now? Being multiplied by what? 2 over 7, guess what we have to do then? That's right. And of course, what's 2 over 7 over 2 over 7? 1, not 0, because if it was 0, you get 0. Not to give. So you get, on the right side, you get x. What is negative 6 over 2, 7? It's negative 6, what? What's that mean? Divided by? Good. And so then, what does that mean? When you have, how do we divide a number? Negative 6 then, times? Good, the reciprocal of that number, right? It goes to x. And negative 6 is really negative 6 over 1, isn't that right? What? Does 2 go into negative 6, Natalia? How many times? Three. So I should write negative 3 or 3 here? Three. Negative 3, because you're dividing negative 6 by positive 2. So what's the answer? Negative. How many people got negative 21 as your answer? How many people think that you could do this on your homework tonight? Okay? Sure, good. All right.